want to thank Rodney who read the scriptures for us so ably. Amen. And I, I, I wanted to go back to uh, uh, verse 12 and read down, but the verse I'm focused on is verse 17. Verse 17. And I want to break it down because there's so much in verse 17. This, this scripture is so serious. I want you to really understand Amen. how serious this one passage of the scripture is in the Bible. You know, uh, the invitation at the close of the service, that invitation is a call for sinners to be saved. Mm -hmm. not. At the end of this sermon, when I offer the invitation, that is for sinners to be saved. And as for those who have fallen away from the faith, they had an opportunity to come back and reclaim Amen. the faith. Amen. You know, that's what the invitation is at the end of the service. It's for those also who have special needs and are heavy burdens to yes, come up and ask for prayer. Because prayers of the righteous are very much. Amen. You hear me? Prayers of the righteous are very much. Each of us are here that are wearing the bloodstained banner because prayers of the righteous went out for us. Someone was praying for us. You know, someone like myself, I may not call you by name, but I always pray for those who are lost, that God grants them space and time to hear his word right. and obey his word before it is eternal and too late. Amen. But there's going to come a day when it's too late. Amen. There's going to come a day when it's too late. You know, and so after preaching, I'm going to offer that invitation. But there's an invitation I want to talk about that's even more pressing than that. And that is the last invitation in the Bible. You know, that's the last invitation in the Bible. You know, that is the scripture we just read from 17 when it says that the spirit and the bride say, come. And let him who hears say, come. And let him who thirsts come, whosoever desires, and that's the key word, whosoever desires, let him take up the water of life free. Amen. You know, this is an invitation. This is an invitation. And it breaks down that he's talking to several different groups here. You know, uh, after all the prophecy in the Bible, this is the final invitation in the Bible. Amen, somebody. Yeah. You know, there are many invitations in the Bible. In Genesis 7 and 1, he gave an invitation to Noah and his family. And it went like this. He said, come thou and all thy house into the ark. Amen. You know, and you know when he went into the ark with his family, the door was shut. Is it? The door was shut. And if you had obeyed that invitation or accepted that invitation, you could no longer accept the invitation. Amen. Because the door was shut. Amen. The door was shut and it was sealed. No man could open it. Right. Amen. Amen. Not those inside and not those outside. Right. Amen. Amen. You know, there's nearly two thousand times in, our, in the Bible that the Lord invites people to come in. Okay? But today we're talking about the last call. The last call. And the title of this sermon is The Last Invitation in the Bible. You know, we're gonna, I'm going to take it, I'm going to break this down to you four ways. Four different points I want to make and then this sermon is yours. The first point I want to talk about is God's greatest burden. The second point is the church's greatest business. The third point is man's greatest blessing. And the fourth point I'm gonna to make today is life's greatest bar. Amen, somebody? Amen. 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 And let's talk about the God's greatest burden. You know, because this is a burden on God. Why? Because he came down from glory and he left glory up heaven to come down to walk in the flesh, mm -hmm. live and die, so you and I can be saved. 
just by offering you an invitation. Amen. Amen. The Holy Spirit invites people to come to salvation today. How does he do it? He convicts us, he convicts us of sin. That's right. See, if we don't feel like we did nothing wrong, we feel all right. We ain't not going to owe God to pay God. Right. We're not going to owe to God. If you think you're okay, you're not going to owe to God. You know, if you think it's about being good and bad, then you, 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 you just keep coming back. And more is going to be revealed about God's word. Amen, Amen somebody? Amen. Because it's about so much more than that. You know, we can't be good enough to, to be saved. No matter how good we are at that. The Bible tells us that our best we are filthy rags. Yes. Yes. That's not our best. Amen. Amen. Uh-huh. Why? Because most of us have stinking things. Amen, somebody. <laughs> Our thinking ain't right. Amen, somebody. You know, he enters into the heart when the sinner calls. When you have that honest desire, he said that. If you will desire, when you have that honest desire, see, see, I can't tell if you're desire. You can. Ronnie can't tell if you're something. You know, if you have an honest desire, we we may be ministers, but. We can't see your heart. That's right. That's Amen, right. somebody. Amen. You know, that's why I'm so glad that God does that. Because I, I be that messed up some people. <laughs> <laughs> All the hearts, I be that they, they ain't ready. <laughs> the ones that ain't right, I be saying, yeah, they ready. Great job. Right. See, you know, I'm glad that's not my call. Right. My call is to do just what I'm doing. Amen. Preach the word. Amen. Teach this word. That's it. Let it lay on your heart. Okay. Amen. Because God gives the increase. You know, he abides all through life. Comforting, convicting, and empowering. That's what God does. He comforts us, he convicts us, and then he empowers us. Amen. To obey that God. And not only to obey the God, but to change. Amen. You know, Amen. to turn a weed into a Beautiful fly creature. You know, to turn an old, ugly, slimy caterpillar into a beautiful butterfly. You know, God will transform us. Amen. You know, and He empowers us to do it. Right. Amen, somebody. Amen. You know, the, the work of inviting people is God's greatest burden. Don't you know that? Because so many people turn their back. No, none of us like we offer you ourselves all the way out of love. Be rejected. Nobody likes that. You know you don't like it. I know I don't. I, I don't like it. I, I can accept it today, but I still don't like it. Amen. And it, and it, and it, and it convicts me and it hurts me, you know. And, 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 and great, and, and, and guess what? Now, greater than. This, 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 this invitation is greater than creation. Oh. Amen, somebody. This, this invitation is 